patient, our administration, um, community, thank you for having us. Um, shockingly, in June, this is something the students actually beg to come to. They really enjoy coming and being able to um, showcase what they've done this year. And we're a little bit small in numbers this year, but we've grown immensely. Um, our first year as an advanced robotics class, last year we had six students, so it was a pilot year, very small, intimate group. Um, and we had five male students and one female. And in just uh, one short year, yeah, Kat is our, our one female, um, in one short year we grew to 17 kids and went to from a two to one ratio. So uh, we had 11 guys and six girls. So really, really great growth, um, showing the growth of the female STEM movement in Chatham, which is always great. And they're going to show you a little bit more about what goes on here. But with that growth, it also forced us to, um, or allowed us, I should say, uh, form two teams. So we now had two teams competing in the first tech challenge which allowed them to create a new rookie team and really grow and develop um, immensely within the classroom. And then across the state, these, the two Chatham teams, their first and second year, have kind of got a movement going. They have people that know who they are. Um, and they even, the, the organizers of FIRST throughout New Jersey have actually um, said how great these students are when they come to meet, how much they show initiative, volunteer help, and everything that they've asked our school to host the state qualifier next year, which schools, get on the wait list for years and years and years because it's such a big event for a team to host. So we're really excited that next year, December 3rd at the high school, we'll be hosting state qualifier with about 30 teams across the state of New Jersey. Um, and then otherwise these kids have just done, in my eyes, incredible things even if they don't necessarily see every accomplishment as a success, but I think that's the high school mentality. Some of their failures, in my opinion, were the, the greatest accomplishments that they were learning through because <laughs> These, these kids are working in a, a class where they're not, they're not earning advanced credit, they're not in an AP level class, but in my opinion, they're putting in more hours than most AP level courses. They're with me some weeks, an extra 25 hours outside of the classroom, um, whether they want to be or not, and sometimes they're begging me to stay 7.30 and no one can go home because they're, they're such a critical moment. It's, it's hard to force them to kind of wrap up and uh, call it a day. So they're going to tell you about their achievements, all the awards they've won, Last year we had one team that did really well but was just an inch away from one of the state championships. This year we had two teams that only advanced the state championship but actually one advanced further to competing